You know, American handgunner readers are usually pretty motivated people. They like to shoot and they reload. Uh, they like to tinker with their guns, which brought up an interesting reader question the other day, which was, what kind of tools should I have on hand if I'll be working on my guns? Well, I'd like to caution you first. Don't tackle gunsmithing jobs unless you really know what you're doing because you'll get yourself into trouble. General maintenance work, things like take the grips off, field strip, take springs out, you know, that kind of stuff. Well, you can certainly do that at home. And actually, it's a lot of fun. It's very satisfying. And I hardly recommend it, as a matter of fact. But like I said before, don't bite off anything that you can't chew because you will get into trouble. And I know I have put together many bags of gun that people have brought to me because they got in over their head. What I like to do here is go over just a few tools that I think that not only will you find useful, they're actually pretty much mandatory if you'll be tinkering with your guns. The first thing, and I think the most important thing you can have, is a dedicated gunsmithing screwdriver set. And this one's from Brownells. Now you're gonna pay a little money for it, maybe upwards of 100 bucks or so, depending on the size of the kit. But what's unique about it is that each screwdriver bit is carefully shaped to fit the kinds of screws that guns have. A standard screwdriver will slip off, so you need a dedicated gunsmithing screwdriver set. They are worth their weight in gold. When you're tinkering with your guns, you end up getting into nooks and crannies and you'll be unhooking springs and trying to align little parts and stuff. And so hit your dentist or your doctor up and see if you can get some good old fashioned hemostats and these kind of surgical things because they usually will give them away once they get old, but they're perfect for our use. Another thing you want if you're working with 1911 style guns is make sure you have a good barrel bushing wrench because this will make sure that you can move those increasingly difficult to turn fitted bushings that are in modern 1911s. You know, another really uh, useful tool is a, a pair of good tweezers. I like these offset ones like that because you can reach down inside a gun and get some pin that you dropped or reach in and get a piece of crud that's stuck up in a corner. Got a thousand uses for these. Same thing for this dental pick. You can reach up in and unhook a spring arm maybe or reach in and pull an extractor out. Again, they're just really useful when you need them most. And these are something that not everyone thinks about, but I found them to be very useful. If you notice, they're parallel jaw pliers. And what's cool about them is that if you're holding something, if you've got a part inside of them like that, they're holding it very evenly and they have smooth jaws. It applies even pressure and it lets you hold things like maybe a hammer while you're trying to drive a pin out of it or something like that. I got these at a garage sale, but just keep your eyes open, you'll find them. Very important thing would be a good quality punch. This one has a brass end on it that you can unscrew and put different tips in. Use this for adjusting a rear sight, maybe pounding a pin in, that kind of stuff where you don't want to mark the steel. Same thing would be a good set of punches like this. These are made by Starrett. Uh, I have a whole set of them, and they all come in different sizes. And you would use these for driving pins out, holding guns together, holding actions together, a trigger group together maybe. You need to get a sear out, that kind of stuff. You know, a small non-marring hammer like this one and is always handy. This has a, a brass end, uh, like for helping you drive a punch. But I like the non-marring dead blow side because you might have to coax a tight slide off of a frame or something like that. And in that situation, a little hammer like this is really handy. You know, a good caliper like this, and this one happens to be digital, is great for doing things like measuring the front sight height, or, you know, gee, what is your barrel diameter, or how wide is your rear dovetail? It's got a thousand uses. Last, but certainly not the least important, is the ubiquitous Q-tip. Buy these by the three or four hundred pack, because you will use them by the dozens anytime you're working on a gun. Uh, they clean crevices, they apply oil, they help you guide parts in, the list is endless. Well, there you go. A few things that I think are must-haves if you'll be working on your own guns. And that's not counting cleaning equipment and things like that, but I wanna add one or two more things. Number one is make sure you have some kind of good quality lubricant on hand when you are working on guns, because you'll be taking them apart and putting them back together, taking them apart, putting them back together. You make sure you wanna run a little lube on them. And the other thing, especially if you're an old guy like me, is you wanna have a good magnifying glass on hand, <laughs> because those pins get tinier and tinier, it seems like, as the years go by. Well, hey, I'm Roy Huntington. Thanks for tuning in again. I hope this did you some good. And remember, when you're working on guns, make sure that you're safe. Obey the four firearm safety rules. Keep that muzzle pointed in a safe direction and clear every single one of them every single time if you're going to work on them. Thanks a lot.